two wolves that live within us. There's one wolf that will cause us to do the wrong things. But there's another wolf that will cause us to do the right things. You know, in, in Western terms, you get the devil on the one shoulder with the pitchfork and the horns. And on the other shoulder, you get the angel with the halo. And then you get the cartoons and the devil goes, no, do it, do it, do it. And the guy's no, and then the angel goes, no, don't do it, don't do it. So that was the scenario. Bad wolf, good wolf living in us. And then the grandson asked the, the granddad, Grandpa, but which wolf wins? And the wise grandfather said to him, Son, that all depends on which wolf you feed. If I had to bring that into biblical terms, there's a war within us. There's a battle that takes place in our mind. There's the carnal side, which is the flesh, and then there's a spiritual side. And the challenge for us is, which wolf do we feed? Which part of our being do we feed? Do we feed the carnal side, which is the flesh side, or do we choose to feed the spiritual side, which is the part that the Word of God nourishes? And that's why it's important that we read the Bible, that we meditate on the Bible, that we think in a way that wasn't possible before, that comes through the Bible. And this is what Jesus said when He was on the mountaintop. He quoted Deuteronomy 8.3 and He said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Jesus quotes this. Now of note, is that when Jesus was tempted, he didn't sing a song. He quoted scripture. It splits us, us open and it shows us for who we really are. And James 1, 23 to 24 says that anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. And this is where I want to encourage you. Feed the spirit, not the flesh. Let the spirit grow. Because as the spirit grows, you grow into a person that God wants you to become. That even when the world comes in, even when problems come in, even when circumstances come in, you stand steady.